Alright, welcome to the channel guys and everybody have their own favorites and so do I and today I'm about to make my own personal top 10 units in Brave Frontier um maybe what you are going to see are not really what the meta thinks or uh, some of them may not be having the tools that are really good for now but yeah this will be my personal favorites whatever they are and yeah let's start with number 10 all right at number 10 it's Selena mm -hmm. yep the blue cute girl from starter units yes I started the game with her and I always almost bring her everywhere so yeah she deserves to be on my top 10 and she is number 10 because yeah she is a starter unit uh, bring her for arenas I bring her for trials I bring her for anything that I think she are capable of withstanding but currently she only resides on my arena squad but soon yeah really really soon she will be getting her Omni Evolution, which, yeah, she will be really good again. <laughs> Alright, now, our number 9! Guess what it is? Guess? Have you guessed yet? Alright, number 9, it's Cell Knight. Yeah, Cell Knight. He is our very good green guy. Yeah, I think he's a veget vegetarian, because he's green. And I really like the color green, so yeah. Okay, the backstory. I uh, when I started the game, um, he came not really far when I started the game. So yeah, he was one of my most wanted unit. And up to today, uh, even he is only a six star. Uh, he is still widely used uh, for farming, for BC drops, and everything else. And he, his design, I really think his design is really good. And also, like Selena, he will also be getting his 7 stars for now. Not Omni, though. Uh, but yeah, his 7 stars will be really good. Although, I don't really like his 7 star evolution design. But yeah, he is still really, really widely used especially for farming and he has a lot of BC drops and hits yeah that's it about Sol and now we're moving up to our number 8 okay number 8 this is gonna be a little tingling weird, weird. the whole Griff badge yep the whole six of them Griff Kafka Wells Roa Kranz, especially Kranz. And who else? Alright, Iris. Libera. Which I think the name is not really good for a translation. I mean, translation. I really would go better with uh, Rivera, because that's a human's name, not a dog's name. Yeah, the whole batch the whole batch they are really really useful and they lasted for a really long time um, not unlike all the other units that only live for about or use for about one month three months I think I've been using them for uh, more than six months and that is really really long and up to today I still use them and I still see a lot of people using them for everything especially Kranz, Griff, and Roa. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the whole batch are really awesome and I love them. I love their design, I love their kits, and I love everything about them. So yeah, they still, they all, all six of them belong on the top 10 list. Alright, let's move on to our number 7. It's Charla, the light girl with all the perfect buffs you need however she does not attack I almost bring her for everything even normal quest but for trials grand quest grand 
Gaia Chronicles, Vortexes, or everything. I do not know what the content are. I will always bring Charla first because she has everything. Everything. BB Regen, Heal, Heal Over Time, BB Fill Wind Spark, Spark at 100%, Critical Buff, Critical Damage Buff. And what else? Mitigation from her UPB. Full heal, full BB gauge for how many turns I forgot. But yeah, she has all the whole package. Everything. So yeah, she belongs on the top tier. And yeah, I I really think she will live for a really, really, really long time. So yeah, I really like her. And her design is really good. However, I kinda dislike the fact that she lost her mask at 7 stars. That mask really made her look mysterious and cool. And alright, let's move on to our number 6. Uh, it's the global exclusive new OP unit called Alanon. Yep, he has everything you need for mostly everything as well um, however until today we still have not had his uh, special sphere so that is a bit problematic for me because when he has his own special sphere he'll be really really good and has everything a lot of things in one unit almost like Charla uh, six elemental buffs heal BB fill when attacked. What else? Max HP buff. And her and his UBB is one of the new thing because uh, elemental resistance resistance. It's different than medication and yeah, it works really well on everything. And his design, actually, his design is also I really like his design, but uh, just like the rest of the units I mentioned before, I don't really like his 7 stars because he'll lose his Assassin's Creed look on his 7 stars. I kind of like his 6 stars better. And what else about him? Yeah, his SPB is kind of really hard to fill up, but uh, there are a lot of ways to deal with that. And if you manage to deal with that, he's perfect. Perfect. He uh he also kicked out Shida before he even came up. And also the I forgot the name of the unit, the currently eight star unit in Japan. Yeah. GG Global, you made a really OP unit and I really like him as well. Yeah. And now, let's move on to our number 5. This is a really hard pick for me and I had to do this because I really like both of them. Uh, it's Avant and Sirius at number 5. Yeah, both of them. Because uh, to me, uh, their kit is almost, almost similar in effect and both of them have their plus and minus, pro and cons. But yeah, both of them are really useful for everything, especially Frontier Hunter, Frontier Gate, and some Trials and even Normal Quest. And I really do like their backstories, um, especially Ivan, because he is actually uh, Fargas's father. Fargas, I am your father! <laughs> okay, enough about puns. And yeah. Since they both are really good, and I really ha had a hard time picking one of them, so I had to put both of them on our number 5. Alright, now we go to our number 4. Yeah, I know it. I knew it. I really have a fetish for mitigators, so yeah. Our number 4 is a really cute mitigator. Really, really cute. And she's yellow. Mm -hmm. It's Lafiel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. She's cute. She's cute. And I really, what I really love about her, uh, her leader skill is actually very good. 
However, it's only 30%. Uh, kind of hope it was 35. And BB Spark went field, BB Fill went attack, and mitigation. A really complete set. And what I really love about her is her design. I really love her design. Uh, she's sitting on a chair or a moving throne with a huge ball behind her. Yeah, that's weird, but I kind of like it. And her in-game animation is also really, really cute. Because when she attacked, she made a wall in front of the enemy and she turned into a an armadillo. Boom, man. Yeah, that's really, really funny and cute and out of place at sometimes, but I really like that. I really, really do like that. And most of all, she is a mitigator. And she is really good for today's meta as well. Yeah, really good. Alright, let's now move on to our number three. Again, with my mitigator fetish, it's Lubbard, the fifth Soldan, which went to the dark side. Mm hmm. No, he's not Kylo Ren, he is not Darth Vader or anyone else, Darth Sidious, um, Darth Selban, Darth Lubbard, whatever that is. However, he is really cool. When he was first announced in Japan, I was like, what? That is really good for a mitigator. So yeah, I really wanted him and I was really lucky on getting him without too many tries. And yeah, mitigator. BB fill when attack. Um, what else? Defense buff on his BB. Uh, and his leader skill is really unique, which you will get another 20% mitigation buff. That is. That will last for two turns and activate it after you receive 5000 damage. Um, that's really good. 20%. And 5000 damage in most cases are really easy to get. So, yeah. It will be up for an eternity and his design actually is also really good I love his seven stars design I love his animation I love everything about him and I almost bring him for anything and yeah because he's dark mm -hmm. okay let's move on to our number two so I had enough of my mitigation mitigator fetish Okay, number two is actually an old unit, very, very old, and still I love her design, however she goes. And yeah, I almost bring her, girl, it's a girl, I bring her almost to everything, everything. Well, not everything, but almost everything. Alright, and on number two, it's Elsa, yeah, she is my most favorite. Mm -hmm. Any day, anytime. She is kind of my waifu. Don't tell anybody about that. Alright, um, a lot of units, a lot of batches are centered on her. Alice, her uncle, Chrome, and she also has a batch that is centered to her, which is the Barira royalties. So, Sirius, Dure, Radia, Sarias, uh, who else? Ah, uh, you know what I mean. Uh, the whole batch is centered around her. So yeah, she is a really important figure in Great Frontier, and she also has a really good design, really good kit, really good everything. Uh, she's perfect for everything. And yeah, in real life, if somebody, if a girl looks like that, I would take her out. Mm -hmm. Alright, before we go to our number one, I would like to mention a few honorable mentions on my top 10, but sadly I had to cut them off due to room and everything else. Alright, honorable mention, it's Paris, yeah, she's a free unit which you can get on Frontier Hunter, Hunter rank 16, yep, she really is very ultimately, utterly good for a free unit she has everything you need PC drop a artificial drop blah 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 um, nullify status ailments 
uh, BB fill when attack and attack defense recovery buff at a really good rate which is 130% mm -hmm. okay next Nadore almost similar with Paris but with uh, a little less thing about her which I like about her is her design she I am a big fan of Valkyrie profile and she really looks like Lemonite so yeah that's my name Alright, next, Limera. Mm, I really like her design and kit, and yeah, girl with short hair. Mm -hmm. mm. Alright, next one <laughs> Roche, Haley, Seruya. Seruya, actually, she belongs on the top 10, but she is limited, so no. Okay, next, Sephir. Uh huh, she, he is a really old unit, Sephir. I really kind of miss his popsicle on the 7 star evolution but he is still good for now for everything especially arenas and one thing on my honorable mention list is Claire and Coke yeah I kind of like them just because they are unique the first one in the whole Brave Frontier universe that uh, you can also activate their extra skill if you bring both of them on the same squad which is really cute and both of them are actually good if you bring both of them they have damage they have all the kits you need for everything but yeah they are old but I don't see a lot of people are still using them that is sad all right now let's go to our number one drumroll all right i'm gonna give you guys some time to guess what it is there yet guessed it yet okay i think you guys got it right it's nyami at number one yeah nyami yeah the global the new global exclusive which is really OP she can sell spark she has a really huge damage and her unique BB which fills her SBB yeah the design is really good she is super cute and everybody loves him her everybody loves her yeah and I really like her design especially on the naming of the skills like Night Prowler, Kitty of the Shadows, Ooh, Ninja Kitty, and Shadow Pals. <laughs> and most of all, her SBB. Zoom Zoom, Zoom Zoom! <gasps> and Yummy Frenzy. It's like, you know, Gumi is speaking my language. Okay, uh, Zoom Zoom. Let's name her. SBB Zoom Zoom yeah cheers yeah <laughs> just like that and yeah <laughs> all right enough about that and yeah she is my number one I really love everything about her I even don't mind having two or three of her she is really good for everything she is very unique she is cute she is powerful she is perfect for everything and yeah I guess a lot of you guys out there are feeling the same way as I do and yeah that wraps it up for my personal top 10 how about you guys and yeah like this video if you like it share it if you got or if you want other people or your friends to see this or join the comments and discussion below and if you're new subscribe to my channel and yeah thank you guys for watching I'll be back later Bye-bye. Zoom zoom. Ooh.